the album no, Bloody Life, Life Well. Bloody Life Well. Recorded live on New, New Year's <laughs> Eve in 1993. Yes, 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 it yes. Was. that's correct. Uh, why New Year's Eve? Is, uh, is there a reason for it? Um, no. Well, we, we were in the stages of deciding to do a live album and after the Suddenly, previous album, it seemed the next the next album should be a live one. It, it seemed the right time, yeah. and we were looking in our career to make a live album. And we were looking at a gig to choose to record, and we had a really big tour through October, November, and December all over Europe um, at the end of 1992. And suddenly, uh, this concert came in uh, where we were booked to play New Year's Eve in Hamburg. And we thought, hey, this has to be the gig to record live. It's a very special occasion. Mm -hmm. And we knew we would get a good crowd. We always do well in Hamburg. And it was New Year, so a big party night. It just seemed the obvious choice. We were thinking of a live album at the time. The gig was there. It had to be done. Do you have an explanation why you're so popular in Germany? Is there a reason for it? I um, think not really. Um, I think if you if you look back over our careers, um, I think a lot of it is is more to do with the fact that round about ninety two, ninety three, ninety four, we did a lot of concerts in Germany. Um, as I told you earlier, we had a lot of problems at the beginning of the nineties in England with uh, our record company, meaning we couldn't put out new material and do many concerts in England and we started coming to Europe and the first country we visited in Europe in 1989 was Germany and it was just the first place we played outside of England and suddenly before we knew what was happening we were doing a lot of concerts there and it kind of just grew from that you know mm -hmm. and I think over our careers we've done more concerts in Germany than any other country except for England so I think it's more to do with that you see we're, we're such Mm. Uh, a live band. If people see us perform live, they're hooked. And we did a lot of concerts, and it just grew. Yeah, we, we, we've played over 200 concerts now in Germany, and our early concerts in Germany were very energetic, very crazy. There were some very memorable concerts, and I think a lot of it grew first of all from word of mouth, from people who saw our first concerts in Germany. We made a very big Im impression with our first two or three tours, and it, it just grew from there. Yeah. Um, a lot of it was word of mouth. Um, we got a little bit of press, not a huge amount, but your so music really, yeah, your, your music really excites people. Yes, uh, yes, yes, I think I think if we had played as many concerts, for example, in in Holland that, as we have done in in Germany, we would be really huge here now. I think, um, but we have done quite a lot of concerts in Holland now, and they've always been very good. We we did a sellout show. In, in Holland last month, it was the only concert here on the tour, and it was sold out two weeks before the gig. Oh yeah, that so, was and people were people were tra yeah That's people right. were travelling from all over Holland. They were getting phone calls all week. So I think it's starting to really get interesting yeah. now. Yeah. They, they, they told the people at the concert said they could have sold it out three times, you know. So I think that's a good sign that things are happening here now. Uh, it's been a lot of hard work, a lot of concerts in Holland over the last five years, but we're getting a really good following here. And we're excited about coming back. I think uh, the first week in June we will return for five or six shows to promote the new album. Oh, and we're really, really looking forward to that. I think we will have some great evenings and some great fun. Do you think you'll be playing in Alec Bar or around here? Maybe it's even possible. Here, are you like open to playing anywhere? Yeah, I mean, at the moment, it, the dates have just really gone in uh, to the hands of the agency here in Holland. Yeah. Uh, last week, we sat down and said, these are the dates we want to come back. Oh, so you have a lot of people working for you, too, uh, tours and... We have a few agents and distributors and, I, and people. Yeah, I noticed in your... In we your can't do everything, so we have to have other people doing right, certain you have things in each country. You, you know. have distributors in about ten different countries. That's, that's correct, yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah. Well, I was wondering, like, your music is like, some can be like bar music. Do you ever have like really rowdy crowds in your watching your music? Yeah, well, where would you say your so. fans are the rowdiest? Where everybody's drinking and throwing bottles and stuff? <laughs> wow. yes. If you throw bottles, they get them thrown back. Yeah. Do you ever have to play, play like in a cage or anything? That's <laughs> right. Yeah. We have some. Right. No, we we do have some and um, crazy enthusiastic fans, but we we have all kind. We have, our audience. I think is very mixed. You know, we don't have a certain type of person who comes to say the whiskey priests 
it's all different types of people. Yeah, I think our, our music groups. has a universal, broad appeal. So we get young people, old right. people, different kinds of people. And I, I think uh, you, you always get a lot of people dancing and going crazy, but there's also a lot of people who just watch and listen to the right, words. Yeah, I remember music. from your concert last year, that mm. it was mostly in the crowd were all beautiful women. <laughs> <laughs> Well, maybe I was, maybe I had my eyes shut because I didn't see them. <laughs> no, we do. We, we get we get all kinds of, of people. We we get we get beautiful women. We get ugly men. We get beautiful you know, men. ugly women. We beautiful men. men. Yeah, right. We don't mind. I wanted to ask you a question. You're the mandolin spailer. So yeah. Man, yeah. And in this program, uh, progressive rock program, I like really playing music from multi instrumentalists. Now, can you tell us what instruments you play? I know it's a lot of them. Uh, different ones. Altogether, I play mandolin, bazooki, guitar, bass guitar, penny whistle, and flute. Wow. And he yeah. sings very well. He's as well. Also, he's a very good singer. Definitely. And where do you come from? You? I come from the north of England, also. Oh, really? Around where the same? Near, near York, maybe 50 kilometers from York. All right. That's great. Okay, we're going, we're going to Avon Door. Machine comes and knock a number spell and then Mutins are all him uh, dinging up packing. So in here, he'll fail spilling this uh, Blythe on at last turn for him next uh, live number. Fun to Whiskey Priest. We can't be not a number.